Hi guys and welcome back to our FIFA 20 Sunderland Road to Glory career mode. So before we get into anything, in the last episode I made a slight error. I did have a feeling that there was two legs for the semi-final of the Carabao Cup, but for some reason I got a bit carried away with myself. We won 4-1 against Stoke in the first leg and I kind of presumed that we were already there, which I really shouldn't have done. So cheers, Robbie, in the comments for that. I do appreciate that, mate. Made me feel a bit stupid, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there is a second leg, but we are 4-1 up. Um, so I am going to simulate it, which I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to anyway, because it's pretty much a foregone conclusion unless we get absolutely smashed in a simulated game. But I am going to risk it. But uh, what we're going to do in today's episode is play Lincoln. Then we're going to simulate the game against Doncaster, because they're sort of bottom of the league. Uh, simulate the game against Stoke, which is a risk, but then we're going to end the episode by playing the game against Portsmouth, who are currently 5th, and they keep jumping up between sort of, you know, 5th, 4th, 3rd, 2nd, and they've been there and thereabouts pretty much all season, so that could be a really interesting game to play as well. Now, in terms of buying any more players before the uh, the transfer window does close, I've decided not to go for anyone. A couple of suggestions did come in, but on the whole, you guys seem to be quite happy with the business that we have done so far in January. But there is one player, by the way, just to sort of spoiler of a player who I want to go for if and when we get to the championship and that is Troy Parrott from uh, from Spurs who I think next season if well it looks like we're going to the championship but if we do get there I'd like to maybe try and get him in on loan I think that'd be quite a nice realistic transfer because it'd get him some championship uh, experience because he won't be playing for Spurs in real life I have seen him uh, more so towards pre-season this season and he was a really really exciting prospect but I haven't really seen him much since play for Spurs. So I think it'd be a nice, realistic kind of signing for the Championship, getting back to the Championship, and, it, uh, and I'd like to try and build him up. And if he does well for us, then maybe sign him. But uh, yeah, for a loan signing, I think that'd be really, really nice. Or even go for him permanently, immediately. What do you think, guys? But yeah, that that's a player I'm definitely looking forward to maybe going for next season. But on with the episode, as we do try and get back to winning ways in the league, we are at home, we are welcoming Lincoln, and we have had to change the team around quite considerably due to fitness reasons. But this is the team we're going with. We have McLaughlin in goal, Hume Hughes making his debut, Willis and 9 across the back. We have Robson starting in a league game today, which I don't think he has been all season, with Dobson. We've got Robson and Dobson, which is going to probably give me a couple of tongue twisters during the game. But we have Embleton playing as the cam, Maguire on the left, Kim Pioca starting in the league as well on the right, and Hanlon remains the sole striker up top. Let's get into it. And here we are under the lights at the stage of my life. It is absolutely pouring it down. I've already made my opinion known on wet days on FIFA 20. It just makes the ball physics ridiculous. It really does. It could just be me not getting used to it. But hopefully it doesn't play too much of an impact on this game. It'd be interesting to see that's Kimpioka who has been improving um, in the training as well. He's now rated 60. He was started off at 54 at the beginning of the season. So six ratings he has improved. Will it show in his game today? And away we go. Come on. Get us a win, lads. Get us a win. Go on, can, can see Kim Pioca straight away down this right side. Can he find Hanlon? He tries to. He's gone off over everyone and nearly finds Maguire at the back post. Decent little start there from Kim Pioca. But we do win the ball in a dangerous position here. Maguire wrestling forward. It is Elliot Embleton. Tries to dummy his man. He tries to bend it as well and it's been blocked. A really good, fierce attacking start from us so far. But Walker now. Tyler Walker bombing down this right hand side. He is a man on our shortlist as well and it's a... Cross that has been held nicely by uh, by Willis, stopping it in the middle. Now here he is, Chris Maguire. Pulls it back for Elliot Embleton. He can score, can he? It's straight at Smith in goal. What a chance for Embleton, who really has been a shining light this season as well. He's been absolutely brilliant every time we've seen him. I'm really excited to see how high we can get his rating as well. Oh, good turn. Come on, turn him, Embo. Turn him. It is Embo. Back again towards Hanlon. Oh, it's not quite got there. Done a bit too much in the ball. Should have probably struck it. I felt like the, the shot would have been blocked. Tried to find Hanlon. It didn't quite come off. Go on, Benji. On your back. That's it, Benji. Go. Go on, son. You're faster than him. That's it, Benji. Pull it back if you can. Strike it first time. And it's a save. Parried over the bar. Benji Kimpioka's having a great game down that right side so far. Really good chance. Look, have these nice little passing moments here. Lincoln, but they do give it away. It's kind of the last pass of the move. But there is McLaughlin who's actually held across for a change. He usually punches everything. Go on, knock it back in for Hanlon. It is Hanlon. Dummies his man. Hanlon again and it's just wide. With a fierce shot there. That's better. Get Hanlon in. They have put it in and it has been headed away by Hughes really nicely. 
Still have the ball in and around the box, though. Payne. Oh, no, it's too easy. It's a good chance for them. And we're a goal down. It's literally their first sort of clear-cut chance of the game. They've had next to nothing. And this could be the second defeat in as many games in the league. Oh, he just walked through us. That was terrible defending. Absolutely terrible. And it's Andrade who gets the goal. I'm pretty sure he's only been on the pitch a few minutes as well, Andrade. And we're a goal down. Oh, here is Elliot Embleton now. Can he find Benji Kimpioku? He does try and find him. Can he hook it in? He can. Oh, and I thought the rebound was going to fall for Embleton. It didn't. Come on, lads. Go on. It is Ethan Robson. He digs one out. And it's a good save at the near post. We're peppering that goal now. Ethan Robson's left foot nearly finding the back of the net. Let's take the corner short. Robson to Kimpioka. It is still Kimpioka. He's dragging it in himself. He does strike it. It's been blocked. And they're going to get it away. Or are they? No, they're not. We do remain in possession. It is Elliot Embleton. Denver Hume tries to find Chris Maguire. Back out wide for Robson to maybe get the ball in the box. He does towards the back post. It's towards Benji Kipioka. He gets it back across towards Hanlon. And it's headed away. And it's someone's offside. Oh, come on, lads. Now, I am going to bring on Mark McNulty and Hanlon is coming off. It's been all right, Hanlon, but McNulty, we can't completely dismiss him because he's been excellent so far for us this season. I don't want to just completely abandon him because we've got a new striker in and hopefully he can help us get back into this one. Here is Chris Maguire. Go on, whip it in. Towards the back post. It's a good ball as well. It's headed. Still in the box. Can we get ahead of it? We can't. How are we losing? Now, here's Hughes. Gets it out wide for Maguire to chase and it has been headed away only as far as Robson. This is just domination, this. Oh, and it gets intercepted. Go on, we're breaking now. Here's Robson. Down the centre. You just find Chris Maguire. He's got some space. It's still Maguire. Still Maguire. He just got... Oh, what the hell was that, Chris? You muppet. Oh, my God. How the hell did you hit it so high, man? What a chance. McNulty now onto Elliot Embleton. Can he twist and turn his man? He can. It's Embleton. He strikes it and it's gone wide. Jesus Christ. This is probably the game where we've had the most shots throughout the entire series so far. Oh, come on. And there goes full time whistle. The most frustrating game so far this series because we had so many chances which we were just so wasteful with. We really could have won that game 4 5 6 1. But the one chance Lincoln had, they scored it. And we just couldn't find the back of the net at all. It's another defeat in the league. A difficult game today. The players seem to be lacking in confidence. Um, I'll just say our confidence is solid. It should be solid. Because generally we've been very good this season. It was just another one of those games. What led to this loss? Um, the pressure was high. The lads did the best. I put the lads did the best because we, had, we did create a lot of chances. Sunderland could not pull level in the second half. Why is that? Um, we played well but it was not enough. That's probably true as well. So our team morale is really happy. I've kept them happy anyway. That's the interview done. But after that game, we are currently six points ahead of Ipswich. And we are level on games played with them now. We still have a, a game in hand or two games in hand on some teams in the league. But with Ipswich, we are only six points ahead of them with the same amount of games played. But we are now going to simulate this game against Doncaster. Who are currently, if we, if I remember correctly, they're really, really struggling at the bottom of the table. 22nd which you wouldn't expect from Doncaster at all. But we are going to simulate this game, like I say. And we win 4-0. Thank God. Maguire, McNulty with a brace and Grigg as well, getting themselves on the score sheet. So we're back to winning ways in the league, even though it was down to simulating and through no skill of my own. But either way, still a very, very good result. Now, we do have a transfer offer for Elliot Embleton. We had a loan offer for Robson as well that I rejected. But we have a transfer offer for Elliot Embleton, which, of course, I am going to reject. Absolutely not happening but now we are going to be simulating this game which is a massive risk really but we did win 4-1 so i'm not expecting us to lose like 5-6-0 hopefully anyway against stoke in the second leg of the uh the, the league cup semi-final so hopefully we don't cock this one up the league is the priority hence why i want to play the portsmouth game rather than this one with 4-1 up it'd be a bit of a boring one to watch but what will the score be we draw one all that will do perfect oh nine with the goal and uh juve for them as well so five Two on aggregate, we are going through to Wembley. This is actually happening now. We're going to Wembley in our first season, which is incredibly unrealistic, but also really cool. <laughs> and Robson has just come to me just thanking me for the amount of um, game time I am giving him. So I've told him that I'm proud of him because I am. He's been all right. And there it is. I've just checked the 1st of March. We are taking Liverpool on in the League 
Cup or the Carabao Cup final at Wembley, which is going to be an absolute hell of a task. Imagine we won the Carabao Cup in the first season. That would be absolutely mad. But yeah, that is confirmation there that we are going to be taking on Liverpool in the final of that competition. But on to more important things now, kind of. Uh, we are going to be taking on Portsmouth in just a second. We do have the transfer deadline day to get through. And of course, I don't plan on going for anyone. Maybe we'll get an insane offer for the likes of Will Griggs, something like that. But we do have an offer for Max Power, which is something I'm not willing to listen to because we're already running relatively low on, um, on central midfielders. And I don't really want to get anyone in at the moment anyway. But Spurs have made a really interesting signing, signing Ivan Rakitic. From Barcelona for 30.7 million. Bit of a bargain now. I think Rakitic is an absolutely class player. But the transfer deadline day has come to an end. And we have just got our youth squad report. Which we get every month. And Callum Rose, the goalkeeper. 5 foot 11, which is the big thing for me that I think is just really, really poor. 5 foot 11. I don't really... I wouldn't feel comfortable seeing that short in goal. I like sort of a minimum of 6 foot 2. 6 foot 3 maybe. I like taller goalkeepers. In fact, how big is John McLaughlin? I don't think he's even that big. I'll have a quick check in a minute. But he's now eligible to be signed to the squad. So we are going to do that. We'll promote him to the senior team. Elliot Harris, the left back, is still in there. But it'll be so easy for us to make a bit of money off, uh, off that goalkeeper anyway. Because he has such a high potential. But if we look, Lee Burge... He's actually five foot eleven. I didn't realise he was he was so short. Now if we have a look at McLaughlin, he's six two. See, that's the kind of minimum I like, six two, six three. I didn't realise Burge was so short, five eleven. But so maybe Callum Rose, that if that was his name, yeah, Callum Rose, he might actually be in with a chance um of making it. You never know. We shall see. What do you guys think? Shall we just train him up and then sell him? Or should we keep him on? Because I think that's uh, he's a he's a keeper that, of course, has a huge amount of potential anyway between 90 and 94, and he will be very very easy to train up as well. So again, just let me know in the comments what should we do with him. But the last game of the episode, the most important game of the episode, arguably against Portsmouth, who are currently fifth. We're top of the league, three points ahead of Peterborough now, but we have two games in hand over them. So we're away from home, can we? Get a win, finally. I can't stop losing at the minute. And we are going with what I believe to be one of our strongest sides, and that is McLaughlin in goal, Declan John, Watmo, Willis and O'Neill across the back with Power and Dobson in the middle. Gooch on the right, McGeady on the left, Madison returning as well as the cam with Hanlon up top. Let's get into it. And here we are at Fratton Park. Always a decent atmosphere here. Can we get ourselves a win? Hanlon, I really want him to get himself his first league goal. He's got the hat-trick on his debut in the League Cup semi-final first leg against Stoke. But we haven't seen any goals from him since. There's been a couple of games since. And he hasn't managed to get himself on the score sheet in the league. So hopefully he can do just that today. But of course the three points is the main thing. Get into him. Oh no, it's a good ball over the top. For Walks, the right back. It's been taken off his toes brilliantly by... Willis, well in some. The pace of Willis really does help us out a lot across the course of this season. There's been nothing going on in this game at all. Really, isn't it? It's just always Portsmouth on the counter-attack. We hold the ball for a bit, lose the ball in the final third, and then they come forward again. And now we're probably going to give away possession again. Yes, we do. Gooch falling on his arse. But here comes Portsmouth again. It is Evans down this left side. It's dinked in. Still in the box. Thank God they've missed that at the back post. Portsmouth have definitely been the better of the team so far. We really need to buck our ideas up. We started off this season so well, but we just seem to be collapsing a little bit. Now here is Marcus Madison on the counter-attack. Come on, Marcus. Turn some. That's it. It's Declan John now. Can he get it across goal? He does. He tries to. And it's a decent stop by the keeper to stop it finding Hanlon. And that is pretty much our only chance of the game so far. I'm not sure how the highlights are going to look after I've edited. But now here is Dobson from distance. And he's... Oh my god, that was vile. What a terrible effort that was. That just sums up our form at the minute, doesn't it? Jesus Christ. Go on, Hanlon. Incepted at the back. Hanlon, keep going, son. That's it. Still Hanlon. Help him out. Pull it back. It is. Lyndon Gooch strikes it. Takes a deflection. And it's gone just wide of goal. What a chance that was. Who did that come off? I think it must have come off the defender. It did, and it's gone just wide. That is so unlucky. Half time, nil nil. We probably had the best chance of the game, but Portsmouth have been miles better than us. I don't know what's got into us recently. We just need to get a win in this second half desperately. The second half is underway. Can we pull off a much better performance in this second? Well, in Madison intercepting there, it is. Lyndon Gooch. 
Go on, Gooch. Oh, no, that's class there from Gooch. Can he find a man in the middle? He just try and find Madison. It is still in the box. And it was blocked. That is so much better. That is so much better. Come on, let's find the back of the net now. Come on. Just over 20 minutes left. Keep the ball. Get forward. That's it. Come on, Willis. Push us forward. Push us up. Come on. Break forward. Here's Dobson now. Not much movement going in in the middle, but now here is Hanlon. Tries to find. It is Marcus Madison. What is the defence doing? There we go. It's Marcus Madison with that little moment of magic that we needed. They've been trying to play the offside trap all day long, all game long, and it's come off nine times out of ten. And this one time they've tried it on Madison, it does not work. They've really shot themselves in the foot here. Look, as we play him through, the defence stop and they shoved away. Get in! It's been an absolutely shite game, but Marcus Madison finally comes up with the goods. Get in! Now here is Marcus Madison now. Out of nowhere, he's just turned into a completely different player. Look at that pace from Marcus Madison trying to get it in towards the back post towards Hanlon. And he can't quite get there. Madison, what has happened to you, mate, in the last 10 minutes? Out of nowhere, it's as if he wants to play. And he's been crap all day long. But now here is Lyndon Gooch. Can he get it in? He tries to get it in towards Madison again. It's been headed away. This is more like it, lads. Come on. Madison again with a flick on towards Max Power. He strikes it himself. Power. It's in. It's 2-0. And it's an absolute beauty from Max Power. And that's why we're not selling him. Get in. What a terrible game it's been. But just the last sort of few minutes, the whole game has been turning its head in Sunderland's favour. And we are two goals to the good now. One touch and then bang. Buries it right into the bottom corner. The keeper can't quite get there. And it looks like we are definitely getting three points in this one now. Come on. They are coming down this left side now with Brown. Oh, this is too easy for them. Come on, get into him. It's a good interception. Get it away. There we go. Final whistle goes. 2-0. What a win against Portsmouth, who are also in the, in the playoff places as well. Really, really good side. First half, they dominated. Second half, it was just terrible, apart from the two goals right towards the end. But other than that, you know, I think Portsmouth were probably better than us, I would say. But we still somehow come away with three points. Come on. Dobson is continuing his hot run of form. How satisfied were you with his performance today? Um, I thought he must keep his momentum. Because I don't actually think he was that good, really. To be fair, I think Powell was excellent. Um, quite a blow for your rival, don't you agree? We earned this result because we did. Not that we were great, but we definitely earned it. Congratulations on your win. How would you assess your play's performance? Um, I'll just put team play was good. Don't have anything else to say, really. But that is the end of the interview. But there we go, guys. At the end of the episode, we have two games in hand over second place Peterborough. We have 63 points. So we're quite some distance away from them. But Ipswich do have the same amount of games as us. Same with Portsmouth as well. There's quite an inconsistent games played sort of ratio here. Some in 29, some in 30, some in 31. You know, bit of a mess. But uh, either way, we are top of the league. That is the most important thing. Peterborough in second, then Ipswich. Rotherham, Portsmouth and South End. Still doing really, really good South End. They're not letting up at all, are they? And in the bottom four, we have Doncaster, who jumps up from second, uh, 22nd sorry, to 21st. Burton in 22nd now. Oxford in 23rd. And Tranmere, bottom of the pile. But that is it, guys. If you have enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button for me. It'd be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully-fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, you take care and stay jamming. <laughs>